Hello and welcome to Sounds and Sights. This is an instructional video on how to install your Sounds and Sights streaming app. Let's dive right in. It's very simple. You're going to go to Find, Search, and you're going to go over to D for Downloader. Those of you who already have Downloader on there, you can get to it through your applications. Those who don't, it's a prime opportunity for you to download it. There's a lot of things that you do and you use and you, and you install with your Downloader app. Okay, once we get the Downloader app brought up, you're going to put in the code 782374. Now, it's going to automatically redirect you and it's going to download the Sounds and Sights app for you. All you have to do is wait the five seconds. It's going to redirect, redirecting now. Then it's going to start downloading it for you. It's a relatively large file, so go through, clean your fire stick up. Anything that you're not using, remove it off of your fire stick. Any of the things that you have downloaded that you were watching TV on, that's going to be on in your Sounds and Sights app. Go ahead and remove those because it's only taking up space. Space is very key in streaming. If you have very little space left on your Fire Stick, it's going to buffer on you. Okay. Once you have that downloaded, then from there, you'll go in and we'll do the next step. Now that it's downloaded, you'll see it's going to go to install. It'll automatically switch over. You should see something like this, or you'll see the little gray strip in the middle with the Android man on the top. You'll go over, you'll hit install. Then it'll do the normal installation process. This is a fire TV so it runs a little slower on the installation than a fire stick would if you have a high sense smart tv that's android based you'll be able to put that directly onto the tv any sony you tv you'll have android on it and you'll be able to put the download program on there you'll be able to put that directly on the smart tvs roku tvs you can't put that on right now all right now that it's installed, you're going to hit open. And what it's going to do now is going to go to the internal setup of the app. The app is now installed on your Fire TV, Fire Stick, Sony TV. Now it senses everything at this point is going to be enter. So we see it's a TV. That's enter. Would you like to start the app up every time you turn on the device? Yes, that's enter. Would you like to give permission to store data? Yes, that's enter. Allow. Um, we'll do the recorder plug-in later. So that's enter. English or whatever your language is, you'll click that. Then you'll click enter. Now your process is done. And that's it. Just that fast, just that simple. But once you hit enter again, it's going to bring you to the login page. And from here, you'll put in your credentials. Make sure once you put in your credentials that you always click the remember login. That way, if you ever have power loss, you don't have to go and search for your username and password again. It's going to already be there. All right. Thanks.